So now like we're gonna be oh doing um, the output <laughs> settings. So under the output settings, in order for you, if you go to choose, so Darkroom already have a pre-made template. So this is something that like you can utilize, right? Mm -hmm. Normally, like for you not to have uh, for you not to have a hard time, like you know, to figure like the right parameter for like you know, the positioning of the photo, you just wanted to duplicate like the pre-made template that's already in here. How to do that? So basically, like when you open it, so how I'm going to do it is like I'll just remove everything. And you see that now this is the only this is my guide this is my template the, as far as the save and save as is concerned what is the difference between the two uh the save as is a full sheet mm -hmm. and then the save oh uh, we're talking about save and save as yes okay so save as you could change the name of the file isn't it mm -hmm. and the save is going to change the template just change it leave it like that just as, as, as right paper. so basically yes um that is a good input but um as far as the save and save as is concerned when you save as, you're making a new template out of this oh, original okay. template, right? Oh, yeah. When you make all the changes in here and you hit save, all the changes that you did will permanently will be saved. And you don't want that. Why? Because you wanted to keep the original and you just wanted to copy this template. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save as and then I'm going to do test. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, like you have this new template mm -hmm. that we're going to create for your um, event and then pretty much this is that template oh, yeah. no changes mm -hmm. that is like you know that's where I got the template okay. so that I would use it as a guide okay. right yeah. okay so as far as the template is concerned there's two uh, format that you guys are gonna be needing number one is a JPEG okay, so a JPEG. Okay. JPEG is for uh, background because a JPEG is a solid format that you guys use for background and then the PNG is the one that you use to overlay. So if we're gonna be using this, um, this is the template that you guys are designing. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be doing a strip, correct? Yeah. Uh, okay, here you go. Mm -hmm. So um, what do you guys wanted to do in here? We want to make the, the logo fit into the square because when it mm -hmm. prints out, when you print it out, it just looks like a big old middle, mm -hmm. like an ugly circle, and then with the name of the square mm -hmm. on the bottom. So we want to make it, you know, make it fit into the box so it, it fits like as, as like it's part of the pictures. The right. Script, you know? So basically, like when you're doing a strip, I would normally like just recommend four, mm -hmm. add three photos instead of four because mm -hmm. like four photos is like longer, especially with the countdown. Mm -hmm. And then if you are doing a school, like you know, mostly like you know, uh, multiple. Uh, uh, children like you know unless like they would request really request that mm -hmm. so um i would just do uh three, three. And, yeah okay. and then let's hold on so like right now there's a single photo mm -hmm. that you can add or you can add a multiple one so in this case we're just going to add the multiple photos mm -hmm. so that like there's like a columns and raw so that it's easy for you to reposition it yeah, yeah, yeah. right so like in this case you will be able to um, adjust it on the side yeah. and then here so, so the what we can do is like we can have this oh, on the yeah, top yeah, yeah. and then this uh, logo in the bottom so like yes. for you to easily like design mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so normally this one this is a png yeah. so you see the reason why this is a png is because like it's overlaying yeah. you know mm -hmm. and then normally like the, the reason why it's in the back because here in this format if the graphic is in the bottom that means that's the top if the graphic is on the top that means it's in the bottom that oh. is the sequence or the formatting uh, as far as like you know okay. the template is concerned so in this case if we want that to overlay like you know the top photo we're going to send it to the front and then to send it to the front we need to put it all the way to the bottom. the bottom and then if we wanted to send it to the back we wanted to put it all the way to the top yeah does that make sense yes do you guys have any question as far as like you know how to make a template? No. Do you want it to go online and then for us to make a new template so that you will be able to see? Yeah, 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 no, we're good. Okay, but like pretty much is this something, uh, th yeah. this is the one that you guys are going to use for your event, event right? Yeah. Is for this good? Event. And then you want, and you said you guys wanted to add a frame on the side. So basically how to do it is like double click the photo mm -hmm. and then it says right over here options mm -hmm. and it says uh, draw frames around the photo. Okay. So what color would you guys like? I think like a navy blue. Would be a good. navy blue. Totally there. Let's see. I think we chose. Uh, 
I think we chose this one in there. Okay, there we go. All right, and then what we're going to do is okay. So right now, it's not visible. Why? Because under the option, it says frame size 1. So if we wanted to, like, you know, to, thick, to, like, to, to make, make it, it thicker, thicker uh -huh. um, maybe we can do 4. Mm -hmm. okay. And hit OK. You might want to try 10 just so that it's, like, dramatic. All right. There we go. 10. It's not that much. What happened? Transparent. I'll try twenty. There, there you go. go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like maybe let's. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Or you mm -hmm. want to make it thinner? No, I think that will be good. That will be good. perfect. Okay. okay. Looks like and then like this different. one. And you guys said you guys wanted to add shadow, or you guys wanted to add um. The out like you know the. Sh around the corner mm -hmm. this is like where you uh, go so what you're going to do is double click the text mm -hmm. and then under the advanced option it says display or displays out um outline around the text or you can uh, do a drop sh uh, drop, drop shadow, shadow beneath mm -hmm. so like we can do that and you guys said you guys wanted it um, in white or maybe we can do we'll black too mm -hmm. yeah, let's do background. black yeah If not the shadow, let's try the outline. There we go. How's that? Yeah, it's real good. Mm -hmm. Thick enough. Yeah, it's thick enough, mm -hmm. right? See, see, yeah. So now, so you have that, and then the logo is there. And then the spacing for the photo, right mm -hmm. now, the spacing is. 18. 18 so maybe we can uh, do 15 no no uh, this this is 18 and then the bottom one is yeah the bottom one is 15 like that and then this one we can enlarge like so it's not there you go there you go all right so now we're going to save it but like in this case, can you let's make a wedding? Mm -hmm. So um, can you choose a four uh, four by six template okay. that you guys wanted uh, to recreate? I think we could do a wedding, or it has to be any anyway. Yeah, any four yeah. by six. So okay. you're just gonna what type of layout do you want? Mm -hmm. I think let's try this one here. The four. That this one. one? Uh -huh. Okay, so like we're just going to remove this, okay. and then. So we're going to the internet and mm -hmm. then let's do flowers. Pink. Flower. Mm -hmm. Flower. Wedding. Background. Images. Enlarge it. So we can do this one or like your choice. I like that. Which, Which one? one? If I want to get married, I want to get that one. This one? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. And then as much as possible, you want the pixel, like, yeah. So you you want the pixel to be, like, you know, at least below, not below 1,000. Because, like, you know, if I'm going to fill and fit and I'm going to enlarge this, this will get uh, pixelated blurry. and blurry. Mm -hmm. And then that would make it, like, you know, the, uh, that would make the print or the quality poor. poor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and look for a different one that have a high... So, from the top, you could change it the settings, right? From the top, when you go all the way to the top, mm -hmm. and then yeah. settings, I think settings, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, no, probably on, let's see this one, no, tools. Mm -hmm. There's there's the one where you could, okay, there we go. Oh, the there size, go. and then there's probably a large, large a large, large one. Yeah, yeah there you give go. us a better one. So now, this one. Um, let me see, that one's cute. This one? Oh no, this one. Because there's a lot of like rustic weddings that have been going on. Well, yeah. that I've noticed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have that on there. And then the pictures could go in the middle. We and that can work as yeah, a piece can, in yellow yeah. or mm -hmm. in the wedding. 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 So, so right click. Save image as. And you. Yeah. Put it in your downloads. 
and then in this case now we're going to add add artwork and then browse okay. and then so we go to this pc download It's that one, yeah, yeah. So this one normally, like we would just like you know, uh, fill in feed, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then um, just you just send it all the way to the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. There you go. So now, once you have that, mm -hmm. I would say I would add like uh, an overlay. So what format do we need for the overlay? I, uh, overlay PNG. So wedding bond, uh, wedding bond ring PNG. Mm -hmm. So you want to try this one? Yeah, we do that. Rose gold. Rose gold. Rose gold. Rose gold. Oh, are you serious? I'm just saying. I mean, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna find her wedding. Uh huh. Okay, save and then go back mm -hmm. and same idea. Add artwork, browse, mm -hmm. and then just add it and hit OK. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now this is a PNG format. So this is another um thing, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a PNG, but when this is like you know um when this JPEG photo has been like you know um formatted to a PNG, they actually like uh, make the whole photo as a PNG but not the item. Okay. So that's why it's even though it's a PNG format, you see that background is still there. Mm -hmm. So this is not going to work, right? Okay. So Ooh. we're just going to delete it and then we're just going to look for it. yes. So it has to be more like that one in the bottom, right? With the little mm -hmm. square. Right, there. exactly. Mm -hmm. Or this one right mm -hmm. here, this one right here. We can try this one. Okay. Okay, now this is for sure, this is a PNG. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, what? And like, you know, sometimes like even though it does that, like it would say a PNG, but when you save it actually, like look at the file type, it would JPEG. say uh, JPEG. PNG. We can try. The first one. Which one? This, you talk, this All the way one. at the top, there's like. Yeah, oh, you get that one, yeah. Yeah, try that. Yeah, alright, let's try this. Just for training. Yeah, so it's still like save as type as JPEG still, so. Mm -hmm. um, go back to it. I think you can change that. Can you? Right click, save as. No, it's normally like. By go to file tag. File tag. Oh, no, it's like, it's like all yeah. files. Yeah, it would just say all files. So let's see. Try the second one. All the t on the top. Uh, hold on. Um, probably when we do hook band. Yeah, or wedding mm -hmm. ring. Ring G, let's try this one. That one looks promising. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, okay, now this one. So save, PNG, mm -hmm. go back to darkroom, add artwork, browse, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. this one. It's still the same. So we're going to look for a different one. So this is just like, you know, um, it's just a matter of like filing the right, right. file type. Mm -hmm. But like pretty much like, you know, this would really save you. And then you would be able to control the design of your own template, okay. you know? Cause like um, there are templates out there that, you know, you need to spend uh, $25 in order for oh. you to purchase it. But when you can do it yourself and then you know how to do it, might as well, mm -hmm. you know, do it yourself. And then it's just, it just take a, you know, uh, practice and experience. So that is something that like, you know, come along the way as you guys like, you know, um, do your events. Cool. Right. Try this one. And that uh, poop. Did it load? Yeah, it didn't load. So mm -hmm. it's not going to, uh, this one. Uh -huh. Save image. JPEG. Just type in rings PNG. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that way it's not so like. Yeah, so like, specific. Right. Yeah. 
So let's. And then that's another um thing, you know, like you want it to be creative. How about, uh, you said it comes out transparent. PNG format. There you go. Oh, perfect. Okay. So now, and actually it blends in. <laughs> <laughs> so now, um, you see, this is the right uh, PNG format. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't have its background yeah. because when um, they change the format to a PNG mm -hmm. or when, you know, they change it from JPEG sometimes because like people just, that, that in, you know, instead of like, you know, having just like the PNG format, like yeah. when they created it. So like, you know, this is the right uh, PNG format and then so that you will be able to overlay it. And then you can put it here, or you can put it on the side. Okay. Where do you guys want to put it? I think in the middle. Uh -huh. yeah, in the here? Middle. Yes. Okay. And then we can do the writings in here. And then as far as the font is concerned, font is something that you can also uh, get, and then you can download. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, go to the font, D-A-F-O-N-T, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. so that you will be able uh, to, like, you know, download the font that you would like. So we can do... Uh, there's uh, multiple font here that you can download so thousands of like you know font that you can download so let's right now um, you can you want to try like any you want to try this one no, no. okay so now we're, we're going to do is download and then just open it and then install mm -hmm. and then that should automatically load to your software or darkroom you just have to look for the name of the font which is personal use so what we're going to do is go to uh darkroom back to darkroom add text and then the font right over here so like we're just going to look for personal use wasn't it called at, at something yeah, it's, it's is it at? yeah at. okay ants valley yeah Oh, there you go. So yeah, there you go. So Ants Valley personal use. So sometimes you just have to look because um, sometimes they use the personal use or like the Ant Valley, mm -hmm. but like pretty much you can just like uh, locate it by looking at the file folder. So we're just going to use Ants Valley and then who's the... Um, you <laughs> oh, okay. I don't get married that. again. <laughs> Oh, my bad. I misspelled his name. <laughs> wow. Wow. I confused him for my ex. Oh, it's because I'm capitalized. That's why I'm like, what? I think we have to make the font bigger, you know? Mm -hmm. It's too small. So you go to the font? All right, let's see here. Probably make it a, is it 20? It's too small. Probably at 30. 30. Let's push it 32. Let's see how that one comes out. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Where is it? Oh, there we go. And then you can just like um, right click. Okay. And then rotate. Uh, okay. How, which way? This is uh -huh. very confusing. Counter. 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 Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay, okay. There you go. And then, yay! Oh. So now, what you can do is like normally, what I would do. Like you can uh, duplicate this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to change the color into white. Mm -hmm. And then I would just oh, okay. overlay it on top of each other. Wow, why it's multiple. Mm -hmm. So you can have it like that. Yeah. You know, that's just like mm -hmm. an idea. I like a, yeah, there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Or you can like have the blue. Mm -hmm. Like you can do the blue. Or mm -hmm. which one you think? That one or this one? 
one. That one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, so that's how you make your template. So this is something that you would purchase online for 25 but you can mm -hmm. recreate this, mm -hmm. right? So you can download your own uh, own font, you can have your own PNG, like you can uh, uh, put, okay, yeah, you can uh, design the template the way you wanted to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to save it. Why do we need to save it? Um, so that could be, it. wait, if we save it, is that going to be a permanent template? Exactly. Okay. So this is like, you know, pretty much this is the permanent um, template. template, like, you know, this is like the um layout that like you know i recreate out of the previous template so mm -hmm. this is something that we can save all the and, changes and permanently then reuse it for another event. exactly okay. and so what we're going to do is save and then but everybody passed it to thumb there is that right mm -hmm. there's label test so like we just uh put yeah mm -hmm. or choose and then so i already did this mm -hmm. so like what we need to do uh, you're gonna go up to uh, photo print right mm -hmm. there and do a four by six. All right, because remember, like you know, each okay. template has its own format. And then like, change the, the match output for four. Okay, awesome, perfect. So now that's how you guys make the output template. All right, do you guys have any questions? No. Awesome. So now, all right, we're going to move.